Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion and I wanted to show you a couple of projects that I've worked on recently. I'm going to actually um, post this video after I send one of them out. It's for a swap. But um, here we go. This is actually a steampunk tag and I've, I made one before for a swap and this one um, I'm just kind of keeping for myself right now until I find someone to possibly swap with, but um, I really wanted to just make one just for fun, not you know for a swap or anything. And it was a really fun to make. I used an image that I found online, and instead of propping it up, um, I kind of used it as a background and used a bird cage as as part of her skirt, and just just kind of had fun with it and let go. And when I create things like this, I don't make it in one sitting. I can't. Um, I have to kind of let the creativity flow. I do something to it, walk away, let the um, glossy accents dry, and then come back and add some more stuff to it. And it's kind of a work in process. It takes a while. It's kind of, I guess, like people who write books. You know, they just write, and then they go do something else, and then they come back and write. But anyway, I'm not comparing myself to a writer. But <laughs> um, So here it is. Just... Just kind of using everything that I had in my stash. Uh, this is a little wooden piece back here. I know it's kind of hard to see. But my friend Noel gave me. It reminded me like a, of a little bird cage. This piece right there. And it's really, really hard to, to see it. But maybe you could see it that way. So I put a butterfly on top. I always like to add charms to my tags. And I think it just adds like the extra touch to it. Gave her a crown made from a Prima jewelry kit that I have. Gave her an orange heart um, just to match the color theme. And it was really, really fun to make. The bird even has a little crown. Just used a bunch of gears. Added a little bit of rosette trim on the bottom and kind of shredded it. And just kind of little pieces of stuff everywhere. But anyway, just just worked on that. And then, um, this isn't something I worked on, but I wanted to show you because it's super beautiful. It's a gift that I received from Jackie Beery. And she's just so generous and talented. And I just thought that this was such a beautiful, chunky charm. Um, it's her first attempt, she said, but oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful, all these beads and charms she put on it, and it's totally me. Love it. I'm, gonna dis I'm displaying this in my crafty area. So that's a gift that I got. And then this, let's go set this aside. I think I might lower the camera a little bit so I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But let me just show you the cover real quick. Okay, so this is for a coffee sleeve swap um, from Chic Swaps from the Heart. And this is for my swap partner. I've never made a coffee sleeve, coffee sleeve swap before or an album or anything with coffee sleeves. And those are, of course, I don't have one to show you, but, you know, the sleeves that you get when you get your Starbucks and you can put around the cup to keep your hands from not burning. And I know at first sight, this doesn't look like a coffee sleeve book, but I'll show you where they are. This is the outside. I just used different colors of lace and tulle. I just wanted to just make it shabby and unique. And the cover, my love of dress forms continues. Just put all sorts of stuff in it. And the base of it was a doily, and I used acrylic one of these, I know it's hard to see, but it's an acrylic, six by six, uh, I'm trying to find something to put behind it, but here, let's try this, no, it's not going to work, um, it's an acrylic piece of six by six piece, and I used one for the front of the album and one for the cover, but I didn't want to just leave it blank, so the basis of each of the front and back is a doily, and I like that concept because the doily can be seen through 
and used as a base for both the inside and the outside. So that's my cover. Then I'm going to flip to the back before I open it. And this is the back. See how I use the doily? And this doily is actually on the inside. So you could feel it on the inside. But see how beautiful it looks on the outside? I just thought that it would look really neat. I didn't want to keep this just plain. So I put some trim on the back of it. I didn't want to do too much stuff on the back because it is the back. And that's my label. And then, so we had to use six coffee sleeves and then just a bunch of stuff. And I think I went overboard as usual, but I'd rather go overboard and not, you know, than, rather than not do a good job at all. So we had to also have a, a, a closure for it. So I made, I'm going to switch the camera, so excuse me, not switch the camera, but change the angle a little bit. So I made a chunky charm, sort of with various charms hanging from it. And I put just a binder clip, one in the back and one in the front, and attached my um, swivel clasp charm to it. Okay, so this is how I open it. Let me just kind of set that aside. And then here's the inside. So the coffee sleeves, there's two on every page. There's three of these pages. So that's the actual coffee sleeve right there. But I didn't really know what to do with it because it, they're so small and if I just did a little album like this I just I thought that would be boring so of course I had to go like I said overboard with my project and just do something that I want to receive because that's the whole object of a swap right to share with with your swap partner what you want to receive and just do your best work that's what I pride myself in. So each of these have two coffee sleeves, like I said, there's one here, and I just took um, the 6x6 six six, like thick heart stock and just mask, put some mask on it and just painted over and inked it. So there's the other one. But before I go on, I'm going to do the inside cover on this page. I love that sound. Jingle, jingle. Sorry. Um, on the inside page, I was going to leave it blank for the doily to show through, but um, I made these cute little hangers out of these, and they're not really sturdy to hold up anything, but I just thought it would be really pretty to add it as a decoration with some hand-dyed trim. And this is a just a card that I um, tag I got in a swap. And so... Anyway, so each of these, like I said, have one coffee sleeve, and I'm just using it as a pocket, and I just sprayed some tags, nothing fancy. She can kind of add her own stuff to it, pictures and things, of course. And each one has a little, is a little bit different. Covered each page with some, page with some lace, that way the coffee sleeve didn't stick out. And I used a Prima paper. Love this dress for us. Just realize it's it's not in the picture. So that's the next one. And then the last page I had to use a Julie nutting part of the body. So and that's the last page. Just realize there's something sticking on there. I haven't decided if I'm going to put anything on there. That I'm probably not, just so that she can add her own stuff. Um, and that's the coffee sleeve swap. Uh, then just close it up like this. So hope you enjoyed my projects. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that I was going to share with you. Um, I am doing some other projects. I'm going to try some altered corks um, based on the ones that Gladys sent me. And I'm starting this one. It's actually a light bulb that's inside of a cork. I saw that idea. Actually, it was like a little bottle, but I had these little light bulbs, so I thought I'd do that. So I'm working on that and some other stuff. And thank you so much for coming by and watching. I do see the subscriber numbers going up. We're almost at 250, and that makes me very, very happy. Thank you for all 
the new subscribers coming on and all my existing subscribers. I appreciate your love and support and read every single comment. I really, really do. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to get to 250 so I can give the giveaway to one lucky winner. So, okay. Thank you, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. God bless.